Hello everyone, this is Yong from your Korea friend. Today is going to be a Q&A video. Um, I have received so many questions through emails, DMs, and even on comments, but it was too many for us to handle because we have our own, own job that we have to work on. So we are sparing our time to do contents on YouTube. It does take a lot of time to answer all the questions. We are trying to answer a question through comments, but DMs, emails, we can't. Thank you so much for understanding us that we are not replying back to you. Today is going to be a Q&A video. I have posted this um, Q&A video uh, Instagram story and I received a couple of questions. I'm gonna go one by one. It's not going to be a speedy video like before. So first question, uh, is the ferry from Busan to Fukuoka a popular mode of transportation? The ferry has resumed now and a lot of people are taking ferry to Busan to Fukuoka but still most of the people use plane. Traveling in October for two weeks, is it better to travel with a car if I go to Busan and Jeju? I covered this in my Busan and Jeju video about transportation. So if you want to see in more detail, I think you could watch those videos. To just say it, I think Jeju, you need car. It makes your travel much easier. It's like easier level is like right here. And with transportation, it's like yes to Jeju, but Busan, I don't know what to say because using transportation other than taxi is going to be hard because it will take a lot of time to go around. But with car, you can go places to places easily, but it's going to be hard to park and go around places to places because the roads are very narrow. And if you're not familiar with driving in Korea, then I don't think it's a good idea to drive in Busan. My, my friends from Seoul can't drive in Busan because it's crazy. So if you're not familiar with driving car in Busan, then I will rather use transportation. Other than that, you can look into the city tour bus that I have posted on the, uh, that I have said in the video. How can I make a neighbor account being a foreigner? I want to make a list of places to visit things. I actually uploaded a short video on our YouTube channel about this, so you can check that out. You can probably follow the step that I did, then you'll be able to make accounts through that. Going to Seoul, Jeju, and Busan in summer. One wanted to explore where locals go and nightlife. Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is a question or, or something that I, sh I should answer, but if I give you like one location for each, I'll say for Seoul, I'll say Yongsan, near Yongsan station. There are a lot of good food places, so people recently visit there a lot. And for nightlife in Seoul, I probably say Iksongdong for Jeju. Okay, people nowadays go somewhere near like Hyeokje or uh, Ewol or places like Hamdok and Wolcheongni for Jeju and for Busan, you can look into Milak. Next, hotels around Seoul Station. I know you did hotel video already. Before pandemic, there were a couple of hotel, good hotels but right after pandemic, it's all gone. So the only thing that I can recommend is Four Points by Sheraton uh, Seoul Station. That's the only place I can recommend. Other than that, I would probably not stay in Seoul Station because you know, like other hotels are not that great. So how cold does the weather in Seoul gets in early November? Are padded jackets necessary? So early November, no, I don't think you need a padded jacket unless you're one of those people who gets cold easily. Other than that, I don't think you need a powder jacket for, for November. Let me check what I word last November, early last November. So video, the Gyeongbokgung video that I took was actually November. I was wearing a uh, like thick, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I was wearing thick uh, pullover, that was it. I recommend having a thick jacket just in case, but padded jacket is not necessary. November, it doesn't go below, it's like around 10 Celsius. Which cities are off the beaten path but still easy to access by bus, train, etc. I'll probably... Mm, 
say Bukpo, Bukpo, because I heard so much about that city.、Uh, they have really good food,、um, so I want to visit there and try their food. Andong could be another one.、Uh, Andong, you can see like traditional folk village there too.、Um, they have a lot of historical places that you can visit. It's not well known.、Uh, Bumbukpo is really far, and Andong is far too. They are on the southern part of Korea,、uh, but they are still accessible. But if you want somewhere near、uh, Seoul, I would say Taeyeon or Gwangado. Or Chuncheon, I think you can try one of those places too. Where is the best spot for picnic in Hangang River, Mangwon, Banpo, Yeoido? Uh, from these three, I'll say Yeoido. <laughs> from these three, I'll choose Yeoido. Uh, it's because Yeoido Han River Park is really big, and you can see like the best field of people having picnic, and there's a lot of space you can go for. Uh, you can easily access the Han River Park using transportation. So Yoido, I, I'll probably say is a place where you are there for like actual picnic, picnic, picnic. There's nothing else. So you're there to have picnic. That's it. Or maybe bicycle ride. But if this is your first time visiting Korea and your first time doing a picnic, I think Banpo is good because you get to see Sebi Tung Tung Sam. And the waterfall from the bridge, and it's a little smaller than Yeoido, but it's still big. So I recommend Banpo if this is your first time, the only time you're going to have picnic.、Uh, Mangwon, if you're staying near Hongdae area, then probably Mangwon is good. Or you can look into Han River near Duksam. That's another good place you can go. Does it snow in the winter at? The end of the January. What do you recommend us to wear? Love your videos. Thank you for watching. Yes and no. It depends on the weather. Last year, it snowed until end of February. So,、uh, what do you recommend us to wear? Padded jacket for sure. Padded jacket. That's a must. It's all winter is really cold、uh, because of the Han River is really cold. But indoors are really hot. You you might probably wear something. Lighter inside and wear something really thick outer, so that you can take it off indoor because it's really hot. You're gonna sweat. Last year, I I wore like sweater and then wore padded jacket, not the short one. I'm talking about the long padded jacket. So I recommend wear long one. Visiting Korea for the first time. Ooh, this August. Oh no, August. I, I personally think the August is really hard. Time to visit Korea because it's really humid, it's really hot, and mosquito. Oh my gosh! But I still love summer, so you can enjoy summer.、Uh, is there a site for foodie? Actually,、um, there's no foodie sites in Korea. I mean, they could be, but a lot of Koreans just use neighbor map. Other than that, Korean people use a lot of Instagram to know new places because there are a lot of accounts that shares like new trendy. Restaurants and like good restaurants and hidden gems as well. So a lot of people use Instagram. So there is no、uh, site for foodies. Hmm. Try make one myself. I mean, like so that we could all share information together. I mean, like maybe I could if you guys are interested. I don't know. Maybe I could think about it. Oh. Hold on. Hey guys, I order a chicken delivery. I order delivery food so that I could eat and talk. This just came. I order a chicken so I can show you guys what good chickens are there in Korea. This brand is called Product. So I order chicken. They give you chicken, drink,、uh, radish, and and sauce. And I order a side. This this is a cheese bowl, like that cheese bowl. Radish is filled with water. You have to open a little bit and pull out the water. Let me do it. So I empty out the water. Ta da! Ta da! This is a half and half chicken that I ordered. This is called Alio Olio chicken. 
with garlic and this is evil what is it evil evil spicy i don't know what is it called in english but this is one of your top menu from this brand it's like mukbang <laughs> no don't catch me catch me Mm. Garlic. Mm. Mm. I know foreigners can order food using a delivery app because you have to verify yourself and stuff. But if you if you go to the store and just do a to go, then you can try these at, at your hotel. Okay, let's get back to the question. Where to experience a traditional cultural show? Seoul, Jeju, or Busan? So I did look into this before. Um, there is no cultural show at the moment, um, but I know like like folk village. There is like a small show, like parade kind of thing, that you can watch. But they used to have cultural play that was going on, but it ended last year, and they are not doing it yet this year. So I don't think there is where you can watch cultural show at the moment. But if I do find anything or if I do hear any information about this, I'll post it on Instagram so that you can check it out. If this happens, uh, mostly it's going to be in Seoul. I'll post one if there is one. Just back from amazing two weeks in Korea. Thank you for all your tips and videos. Very useful. <laughs> Thank you for watching video. I'm glad to hear that you had an amazing time in Korea. I like hearing these comments. Okay, any restaurant recommendation for a solo traveler? <laughs> Food recommendation, I mean like everywhere. You can go to any, any place. Um, just note that some of the restaurants such as like barbecue place or like big hot pot place, those places you might not be able to go yourself. It's not that you can't sit alone. It's just that uh, they start with two servings. So if you go alone, then you have to eat two serving yourselves. If you can, I mean, if you want to try and have leftover, then that's fine. But other than that, you can actually go to any restaurants yourself. In Korea, many people go to like the soup places, like kukbap places uh, alone. Noodle places, soup places, kimbap places. Many people go there alone, so you, you, you can go there. I'm from Canada. Do I need to bring an adapter to charge my phone? Yes, you need an adapter. Korea use a uh, 220 volt. So yes, you need an adapter. I heard that hidden cameras are a problem. How do I check if there is any in my hotel, etc. Uh, hidden camera. Yes, hidden camera is a problem. The named hotels, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, such as like Four Points, Four Season, or Marriott, like Courtyard. Those uh, hotels you don't have to worry about, but like small hotels such as like motels, we call them motels, uh, it's, a, it's like lovers hotel. They have problem with hidden cams and maybe in like public bathroom in like subway stations, they might have hidden cams. It's called hidden cam because it's a hidden, so you can actually find it if there is one. But if you are worried, then what you can do is first check the Wi-Fi. So if you look into like Wi-Fi, you know, like there's a whole list of Wi-Fi. If you find a strong Wi-Fi that has like weird name, like long weird name, then probably there is a chance of a hidden camera in the room. Because nowadays, a uh, hidden camera is like live cam, so they have to have Wi-Fi connected to camera. So if you see a strong Wi-Fi connection with weird long name, then you might want to check to see if there is a hidden cam. Another way is to uh, use your camera. Uh, just block all the lights, turn off the lights, and use curtain to block all the lights, and try taking picture with flash on just take picture and if you look into it you'll be able to see a uh, light reflecting from hidden cameras if you see like a white dot then it means it's a camera so you use your phone and if you see like small hole 
on walls or like devices. It can be suspicious. Just block that little hole with like objects or tissue or just poke it with like pin to just check. That's the only thing I can tell you. Like I said, this is only for like unknown hotels, uh, like motels or public bathrooms. So uh, just try to avoid those places. Um, but if you still are worried, try to just cover your body parts uh, just in case. That's all I can say. What do you recommend for a day trip outside of Seoul? Uh, outside of Seoul, a day trip? Suwon, I think Suwon is one of the top choice I can say. Fortress Wall is one of the famous places that foreigners love to visit. Uh, so you can look into Suwon. I'm gonna do a Suwon video soon, so you can check that out. Is it safe to go on a tour to the DMZ? Is there an age restriction where to book a tour? It is safe to visit DMZ. I mean, if you don't go like really far inside the fences, <laughs> then it's safe. Like a lot of people visit there. Uh, I don't think there's an age restriction of going there. Uh, where to book tour? You can check out a uh, Trezzy website. They have DMZ tour. You can book one there. Is there a sole transportation app for foreigners? No. Uh, I think you have to use Neighbor or Kakao for this. Um, Google, it doesn't work because Korea doesn't allow foreign companies to have their map data. The only thing you can use is Neighbor and Kakao. What etiquette should we follow when interacting with Koreans? The same etiquette that you should follow in, in your country. Just be polite as you are speaking to your CEO or your professor or your parent. Then it should be okay. But if you want to be a little politer, then like just needle nods. 안녕하세요. Hello. Uh, excuse me. And thank you. Goodbye. Like just needle nod. You don't have to go fully down. It's just like needle nod. Seems like you're, you're a very polite person. And oh, when you are speaking Korean, like you have to use the formal form. Don't use informal form. It's hard. I know it's hard for foreigners to do so. But, but just be a little careful. I, I have seen a lot of foreigners speaking uh, informal form Kowawa, but you have to use formal form to be polite where can i book english speaking tours uh, you can use the trazi website to book an uh, english tour or you can go to uh, visit seoul.net uh, they have free walking tour around famous historical attractions such as Gyeongbokgung, Deoksugung, Bukchon Hanong village. They're, they are free. If you can arrange the right time, then you'll be able to get a free tour, English tour. So check the visit seoul.net website. Chicken time. Mm -hmm. How to date an oppa? Mm. How to date an oppa? Mm. But first of all, you shouldn't use the word oppa. <laughs> in a, a lot of K drama and a lot of Korea TV show, a lot of girls call older male guy oppa to show their friendship. But that's when you are close with that person. You don't just call other people oppa oppa. Cause like if the stranger calls oppa, then it's weird. But to date, I see a lot of international couple these days. So I mean, if you find good person or if other person finds you a good person then I mean then you know you could be an international couple yeah <laughs> or you can use app can you do a video about places in countryside to visit artisan master please this is hard I mean I never thought about one artisan master is there like specific master you're looking for or any anyone in any category i don't think i could answer this question because i don't know anything about artists and master i'm not too sure <laughs> maybe i will look into it if i buy a tea money card in busan can i also use it in seoul yes you can use uh, if you purchase tea money anywhere in korea you can use it in anywhere in korea i think i have answered all the questions that i received through the instagram um, if there's any other questions you can leave the comments here i'm gonna try to answer it as much as i can if i have a spare time i'm gonna do more of this often in instagram so keep an eye on our instagram you should be able to ask questions 
Um, I'm actually really thinking about creating a, a small forum or like this discussion board so that we could all share information together and answer each other's question. We'll see. We'll see. I think that's it for today. I hope you uh, like this video and I know I have been very casual compared to other videos. Uh, maybe if I have chance, I could do another Q&A video so that I can answer your questions. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, please press like to support us and leave us a comment. Subscribe our channel for more Korea Travel Tips. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. I have to finish my chicken. I didn't show you guys the cheese ball. The cheese ball is like this. Really good.